One of our rules of derivatives is called product rule. It says that if you take the derivative of some function f times another function g, then you take the derivative of your first function multiplied by your second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. So, derivative of first times second plus first times derivative of second. Let's take the derivative of x times sine of x. Well, by product rule, we take the derivative of the first, which is one, times the second, and then plus the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second, which is cosine of x. And so the answer here is sine of x plus x times cosine x. The derivative of sine of x times cosine of x. Well here, we take the derivative of the first. The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. We multiply that by the second, which is also cosine of x plus the first, which is sine of x, multiplied by the derivative of the second, and the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. And so our derivative here is cosine squared x minus sine squared x. The derivative of e to the x times the natural log of x. Again, we have two functions being multiplied together, so we have to use product rule, which says we take the derivative of the first, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, times the second, which is the natural log of x, plus the first, which is e to the x, times the derivative of the second, and the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. So here we have e to the x natural log of x plus e to the x over x. And that is the derivative of e to the x times the natural log of x. Let's try one more. Here we have some polynomial x plus 1 times secant x. Well, same thing. We take the derivative of the first. The derivative of x plus 1 is 1 times the second, which is secant x, plus the first, which is quantity x plus 1, times the derivative of the second. And the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. And so here we have secant x plus x plus 1 times secant x times tangent x. And that is the derivative. You could, of course, factor out a secant x and make it look nicer, but we have a general sense of how we use product rule. Take the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second.